everybody. It's Tanya Reeves, Australia's Cowgirl Medium, coming at you from home. Change of scenery today because I just felt like making things a little bit different. And I feel like the current energy is around changing things up and making things different. So just to check in with everyone and say good day, and also know that uh, wherever you are in the world, and whatever's happening, that you are supported and you are welcome to connect at any time. Uh, my Facebook and Instagram handle is Australia's Cowgirl Medium and I offer readings throughout the world. So it doesn't matter whereabouts you are. I will fit you in with the different time zones. I know, you know, I've had a few inquiries lately on my website. I have a booking system, but I can also adapt some of those time slots for those of you that are um, you know, connecting from America especially uh, because, of course, we have a time difference and a day difference. So it's the first of the month here, which, of course, will be the first of the month for you guys tomorrow. So that will be <laughs> – so we're a day ahead. We're already into that second half of the year. So we've had a big shift. There's been a lot of struggles and things coming up for people currently or have been. Um, Fingers crossed we're all now moving into that July energy or for you guys, you're coming into that tomorrow and it's just going to shift things up. So basically it gives us a different a different um, perspective and also a different, um, you know, way of looking at things. So, yeah, just be, just I find that when we change things up a little bit, it just enables us to, you know, be able to be open to the opportunities and there will be opportunities that come up for you and trust in that because things, you know, you tend to find, or I tend to find anyway, second half of the year has always changed up energetically and for those of you going through struggles and things at the moment, there will be opportunities where um, there will be the ability to change it. So hold tight if you're still going through some stuff. Know that, you know, the second half we're starting to propel ourselves to where we need to be and we've kind of done a bit of the, the deep dive and looking over what doesn't work for us and that kind of thing. So just hold tight if you're not there yet because it won't be too far away. So I know with a lot of my readings at the moment it is all about changing things up. If you are stuck or you are in a situation where you're a bit over feeling the same old thing constantly and you want to change it up, then you need to do something different. You know, that it makes sense that we need to change things to bring about change. So just a little tip there, you know, it can be just changing one tiny thing that you do. Uh, you know, keeping the faith is really big at the moment as well. So, you know, hold faith that whatever's meant to be will come to you and it is all about timing. As humans, we're so impatient, you know, we really are. So we want everything yesterday, but often in life we're reminded to just stop, take a deep breath and, you know, really connect and trust into our own abilities to manifest things. So I've got Emily on the phone here from, and I missed the, sorry, Emily, I'm on my phone today and my computer decided to have it hissy fit so we're from the u.s i know i know i got that right dave didn't i <laughs> pennsylvania there Hello. we go emily how are you i'm good that's good awesome all right is there any area you'd like me to focus on today or just tune in for you what would you like this is your reading so you're the yeah boss. um just kind of like Tune in, see whatever you can feel or sense. Um, I have a, some changes coming. I know my way. So you do. I kind of would like you to do. answer. And can answer. I just say, Adam? What's that? Oh, okay. Oh, just sorry. I interrupted there. I just got changes and I'm like, oh, wow, you have got some changes happening. Um, I do want to say, because it's like your spiritual team are like, you really are ready for this. And I feel like um, in that there's been a couple of false starts or we thought there was going to be changes or things happen and it didn't transpire, but it's almost like what they're showing me is that now's the right time, whereas um, prior to now, had you have, had it happened then, if you're looking back in hindsight, you would have gone, oh, that wouldn't have been quite worked out how it's going to now. So don't, um, in that message, they're showing me don't think you're not ready because you definitely are ready. And I do feel like you're going to be out of your comfort zone. But in saying that, you know, when we make that um, 
step up, to step out of what we're comfortable in, we always find the gold at the end of it. So there's some big stuff happening. And I do feel also in saying that for you, it's really about saying yes uh, to opportunities. So there's going to be things that scare you, but it's always like say yes and worry about it later. All right. I know that's easier said mm. than done, but, but I really feel for you that's the power is that, you know, these things will come up and you'll be like, oh, I don't think I can do that or, you know, and I see with the changes there's something about really stepping up in a role in what you're doing. So this is about career um, and it's something you haven't done before because they're showing me um, this is uh, navigating new waters is what they're showing me. I'm like, that's a really profound statement, but you're going to be, it's, you know, it's almost like that feeling of, um, uh, what they're showing me is I'm on a ship and I'm, I'm sailing, but it's, it's uncharted waters, but this is where you need to be. And part of that is you're being pulled to what your sole purpose is. And I feel like you already know what I'm talking about there. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm definitely where I'm supposed to be. Um, yeah, job wise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's bigger though. There's something around an opportunity where you'll be stepping up even more than you are already. So um, now with the the changes, also we're looking at um, movement. So I feel like I'm moving or I'm packing things up. Is that are you doing that right now, or is that what? Um, so they're showing me packing. Mm. No, I'm not packing. No. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. I was just <laughs> saying I was I was just saying about half hour before um I got connected to you, I had said to my boyfriend that we are doing a yard sale and I got stuff packed to sell. <laughs> I guess I'm like showing me I'm like you're packing stuff up. It's like I've got boxes. Okay. Well, if you're not moving them, that makes sense that the, the spirit is showing me that. Um, you have got a, a very strong spiritual team around you and um, I know that, you know, you're quite connected to spirit, but it's like they're acknowledging that you often have conversations with them and, you know, like I almost feel like sometimes, and we often do this, but in the struggles it's like, come on, come and give me a hand. I feel like there's a um, father figure around for you too. It's like he's almost like your gatekeeper you know, um, and uh, almost that like must be my, that yeah. must be my male spirit guide. I have no idea. I know I have a male spirit guide, and my spirit guide, uh, female, is Sarah, but I don't know who my male spirit guide is. I don't know. Okay. Maybe he's been guiding me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because it's like there's quite a strong influence on you, but I do feel like there's ancestry around him as well. So, um, you know, like th this could be great grandfather or there, there's some connection to you because what he's showing or how he's showing up is there's a lot of wisdom through the lineage and when they show up like that, it's like there's some connection to you biologically. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you know, you knew him in life, but he's there guiding. But there is a, um, it's like you haven't fully uncovered all your gifts around that as well, I want to say, is what he's showing me. So he's guiding you along with that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just like there's there's deeper, there's something deeper that, you know, if it's not there yet, again, that's something that will transpire for you. Um, but there is, does it make sense to you about the uncharted waters? Because it's really, it's like you're navigating through like, woohoo, <laughs> I want to say. <laughs> some, some new things happening that haven't been in, presented to you before. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and, and this is around the change. So it's almost like um, what they're showing me, and they're a little bit cryptic in it, but um, I want to say like a domino effect of as soon as that first change happens, there'll be more to come for you. Okay. Are they, are, is there like a certain change? Like is this change going to be like, like right now, I was told to uh, be quiet, be still, and embrace the, the moments I have to myself because this next change is going to be so fulfilling in a good way that I'm, I'm yeah, going to be busy. Yeah. 
Absolutely, absolutely. And this is navigating those uncharted waters. So this is, you only stepping out of your comfort zone. If it hasn't been presented yet, 100% is coming up. I also see there's children around you somewhere in an aspect as well as what they're just throwing in before I run out of time to share with you and say that, um, yeah, that, that's part of this picture. But be prepared for the unexpected. It is going to be exciting and don't feel like you're stuck right now because exactly like you say, it's just preparing you ready for the next step. Oh, my gosh. I wonder what... <laughs> um... I, uh, I have to tell you this to see if this makes sense. So there is a child involved. Um, yeah. My boyfriend, my boyfriend's son, who I'm very, very close to, we are trying to get 50-50 uh, custody. Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. Message me, Australia's Cowgirl Medium. I've run out of time, but please message me and I'll extend on that for you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye for now. Woohoo!